Hi guys, so welcome pa sa continuation ng ating topic na economical sections under sa flexural stresses. So, proceed tayo, sample number 2. Find the lightest S shape for the beam shown if the working stress in bending is 120 MPa. What is the maximum bending stress in the beam selected? Okay, so ganun ulit no. So, dito class, bigay na naman yung section properties. And then, yung mga section na pwede mong pagpilian, tapos yung mga section properties. Setting loading. Okay, so check natin. So 4 and then 2.4. Okay, so proceed na tayo solution. So solution. So first is, di ba, ulit. Draw the bending moment diagram using the external load alone. So. Okay, ito siya. Okay, so yung horizontal distances is 4 and 2.4. So, dito kalas no choice no kailangan natin isolve yung mga reaction. So, solve muna natin. This one is RA. So, hindi ko nalagay yung horizontal class. Ito na lang, RB. So, we take summation of moment, I think, at A. Summation of moment at A is equal to 0 considering clockwise moments positive. So, yung resultant na ito is what? So, nasa gitna yan, no? So, kung 6.4 ito, therefore, ito is 3.2 tas ito, 3.2 din. So, yung resultant equal to sa uh, 40 by 40 by 6.4 ilan yan? 2.56. Okay. So, equal to sa 2.56. So, the unit is kilonewtons. Ayun yun na. Kilonewtons. Okay. Moment tayo sa A. So, 2.56. Moment arm is 3.2. And then, ito minus yung RB. Moment arm is 4. So, equal 0. So, ilan yung RB? So, 256 times 3.2 divided by 4. So, this one is 204.8 kilonewtons. And then, take tayo sa mission of forces vertical is equal to 0 considering upward forces positive. So, RA plus RB is equal to 0. Or, I mean, minus itong 256 is equal to 0. So, where itong RB is... 204.8 sa so ilan tong RA so 256 minus ilan this one is uh, 51.2 kilo newtons ok so lagay natin sya dito 51.2 104.8 So, turuan natin tayo ng shear moment diagram Shear diagram So, start tayo sa 0 Aangat ng 51.2 Okay, so lagyan na natin dito sa kalkyan 51.2 And then, dadaan sa area Which is downward So, negative Na downward So, minus 40, 40, ito is 4. So, negative 108.8. So, first degrees, pag ganito yan. Negative 108.8. And then, aangat ng 204.8. So, plus 204.8, 96. So, let's say, yeah, 96. And then, minus natin tong area ng rectangle dito. So, that is minus 40 yung height. Base is 2.4. So, 0. First degree. Okay. So, therefore, meron tayong dalawang location ng point of zero mo uh, shear. So, ito yun. Ah, ito. So, locate natin to This one is x distance. So, ito is 4 minus x. <coughs> so, by ratio proportion. 
So, x is to height, 51.2 is equal to 4 minus x is to height, 108.8. So, therefore, x equals... x equals uh, 1.28 so it is 1.28 ito matitira 4 minus x 2.72 okay so doon naman tayo ngayon sa ano moment diagram so from 0 plus natin tong area na to so that is 0 plus 0.1 half base, 1.28 times the height, 51.2. So, project natin to. So, ito is 32 point. Uh, 768. Okay. So, first degree sa second degree. Then next, minus yung itong area na to, yung negative area. So, minus 0.5 times base is 2.72. And then, your height is 108.8. So, negative 115.2. Negative 115.2. Ganyan. Then, next is plus natin tong area na to. So, plus 1 half base, 2.4 times, times the height, 96. So, 0. So, first degree. So, second degree. Okay, next zero. <clears throat> okay, so therefore class, ang next, next step is hanapin yung maximum uh, bending moment. Diba? Nasa yung maximum class. May positive, may negative. Pero ang kukunin natin class yung uh, absolute maximum. So, M plus max. Okay. So, kasi ang ginagawa natin, class, pinipili natin material dito, class, is yung ano eh, uh, symmetrical eh, ba Yung mga S-shape or yung I-beam, symmetrical yan. So, kung marirecall mo, class, kapag under ka ng symmetrical section, ang pinipili mo yung absolute maximum. So, ito yung pipiliin natin. Okay? So, the unit nito is kilonewton meter. Okay? So, I think we can now proceed for, sa step 1. So, step 1 tayo, class. Step 1 determine the uh, or, or I mean, di ba ito yung step 1, no? There's a solution. Sige, ito na yung step 1 natin, no? Determine natin yung required section modulus so that S minimum is equal sa M max over yung allowable. So, this one is yung M max is 115.2 So, use natin yung absolute value, no? Yung negative indicates lang naman na concave downward siya. So, kilonewton meter and then times 1 million. And then, ilan yung allowable class? So, binigyan tayo ng 120 MPA. So, ilan yung S-min? So, 115.2 is 6 divided by 120. So, sagot is 960,000. 960,000 mm cube. Okay? So, base dun sa mga given class na section. So, sino dyan yung papasa? Okay, kung titignan natin yung class, etong una, is hindi siya pasado kasi 829 lang siya. Ama? Yung next is 973. So, pwede, no? Malapit siya sa 960. So, which is shape pa rin yung lightweight, no? Tapos yung next is yung 380 by 74. So, 1060. So, which is much greater dito. Pero, mas mabigat. Eh, ang choice natin class is yung lightest, ba So, dito sa tatlo, cancelled na tong una. Hindi na siya kasali. So, dalawa na lang. So, ito yung lightest, yung pangalawa. So, choose muna natin, no? Try. Number 2, try. S380 by 64. Okay, wherein yung weight nito is, yung mass niya is equal sa ano, 64 kilogram per meter. Okay, so, kunin natin yung ano niya class, yung actual weight niya, so 64 kilogram per meter, 
So, times 9.81 meter per second squared and then times 1 kilonewton per 1,000 newton. So, ilan to? So, 64 times 9.81 divided by 1,000. So, that is 0 0.62784. The unit is kilonewton per meter. Okay, so ibig sabihin, initially, ang load natin is 40 lang, tama ba? Na uniformly distributed. So, ngayon, madadagdagan siya ng uh, 0.62 na uniformly distributed din, di ba? So, ano magiging final state nito class sa 3? Sa so, solution 3. Di ba yung solution natin dito class is what? Uh, Determine natin yung ano, actual moment. Diba? Determine yung actual moment using yung external loading plus yung self-weight ng beam. So, mangyayari, ganito siya. So, diba dati 40, to, 40 lang to class? Ah, ba? 40 lang siya dati. So, dahil nadagdagan ng 0.62, magiging ano to? 40.62784 kN per meter. So, may dito may, may mga support. Susulat ko na lang na ganyan. This one is 4. This one is 2.4. Okay, ganito yung, tech, yung mas mabilis na solution dito class kahit hindi na tayo magdurawing ng uh, moment diagram. Ba, paano ba class? Diba? Kung titignan mo to class, yung loading nito is uniformly distributed. sa natin nakita yung maximum moment dito class? Diba dito? Diba ito yung maximum bending moment which is asaan siya? Diba nandito siya sa point ng roller? Ayun no, nandiyan siya oh. Tama. So, kung anong nangyari class is same pa rin naman na wala tayong binago sa loading diagram. Binago lang natin yung intensity. So, sure tayo class, andito sa point na to, nandiyan dyan yung uh, M max. Okay. Diyan pa rin located yun. Gets ba class? Kasi hindi ba hindi naman natin binago yung loading diagram? Lumaki lang yung intensity niya. So, dito, located yung maximum, uh, absolute maximum bending moment doon sa, sa may roller, no? So, ganun pa rin dito. So, ibig sabihin, I can uh, solve now yung Mmax using yung, ano, yung uh, method of section. Ang gagawin ko, kakat ko na lang to. Let's consider ko yung right side, no? Cut ko na lang. Gets ba? So, kakat ko siyang ganyan. Ito yan. So, ito intensity is ano. Para mabilis class. Kasi pag nag-drawing ka, ang tagal nyo yung class. Promise. 40.62784. Tama. Tapos diba ito yung kinat natin. Let's say, pangalan na natin itong point A. Ito point B. So, ito yung point B, di ba? So, pag kinat mo, papalabasin mo yung positive shear. BB. Tapos yung positive bending moment. Pag ganyan. MB. Okay. Ang goal natin kung itong MB. Kasi nga, yung moment at B corresponds doon sa M max. So, take tayo ng summation of moment at P is equal to 0 considering clockwise moments positive. So, clockwise MB and then ito clockwise rin. Tama ba? So, plus ano ba yung resultant nito class? So, di ba ito 2.4 to? So, yung resultant niya equal sa rectangle which is uh, 40.62784 times yung length nya na 2.4 tama? ilan yan? so 40.62784 times 2.4 so this one is ano 97.51 nararound up ko na klas ha yung resultant nya so therefore Another plus, there since clockwise yan. So, 97.51. And then, the moment arm is kalahate. That is uh, 1.2 equals 0. So, therefore, ilan ang MB? Which is lalabas dyan plus, di ba, negative? Ayun, pag nilipat ka, negative yan. Tama, di ba, negative bending moment. So, times 1.2. So, lalabas dito is negative 117.01 kilonewton meter which corresponds na ngayon dun sa ating M max na pipiliin so kung mapapansin mo dito class initially nung wala pa yung weight ng beam 115 lang siya 
Tama? Nung dinagdag natin yung weight ng beam, naging 117. So, konti lang yung additional niya. So, after that, ano nang next na gagawin class? Is to check, di ba? Check na natin kung papasa yung member. So, paano ma-check? I-dissolve natin yung actual bending stress. So, FB max is equal sa M max over yung S. So, ang M max natin is 117.01. So, pwede ba nag-game ko ng times 10 raised to 6 yung 1 million para maging ano siya, Newton mm. Di ba ganun lang yung ginagawa natin? Times 1 million. So, ito na. Tinimes ko na siya ng 1 million over yung S ng pinili natin is ilan yung S na ito, class? Uh, 973 times 10 cube mm cube. Okay, so gamitin natin yan. So, 973,000 mm cube. O, ilan ang FB max dito, class? So, ang sagot is Mabasa kalkyo ko. So, mabasa kalkyo ko is 120.26. 120.26 MPA. Now, check natin class na no, kung safe ba siya or hindi. So, is it less than or greater than dun sa allowable or working stress? So, this one is ano, di ba? Slightly greater than 120 MPA. So, safe ba yun class? Eh, di ba na-exceed mo nga yung allowable? Kahit konti yung class, ibig sabihin na-exceed. Nag-fail ka na yan, no? So, therefore... Uh, therefore wrong section okay, so sabi mali yung section na pinili natin hindi pasado itong uh, S380 by 64 so ang ibig sabihin, pipili tayo ng next material no, na na may mas mataas na section modulus so saan yun dito class Ito na lang natitira, ba? So, ano ba? Yun ba yung sagot class? O check pa rin natin? Check pa rin natin na mamaya kasi lahat, lahat pala sila hindi papasa. Pero ito kasi 1,060, no? So, parang sobrang laki ng ano niya. Ng allowance niya sa 960. So, 1,060, 960. Malaki allowance. Pero, ayan. Magaang rin naman ito 74. So, choose natin ito class. So, ulit tayo sa ano, no? Step 2. So, balik tayo sa step 2. So, choose... Uh, S380 by 74 so therefore ang S na ito magiging 1060 and ilan yung weight niya class yung mass 74 kilogram per meter okay so pag may mass ganun ulit so natin no so 74 times 9.81 and then, times 1 kN per 1,000 newton. Okay, ilan yung maging additional weight na ito? 74 times 9.81 times, or what divide 1,000. So, this one is 0 0.72594 kN per meter. Okay, pag meron na yan class, edi step 3 na ulit, no? Yung idodrawing natin yung, or sisold natin ulit yung maximum bending moment with the additional self-weight ng beam. So, kung dati, 40 siya. Kung dati, 40 siya. Tapos, magdadagdag tayo na ito, which is still uniformly distributed. Ano mangyayari, class? E di magiging ano lang ito. Magiging 40.724 uh, Yun lang magiging value niya, no? Uh, kilo newton per meter. Okay? Yung dating loading plus yung self weight. Tapos hindi dito pa rin yung support. So still hindi naman natin binago yung diagram, di ba? Rectangular loading pa rin siya. So sabihin, mangyayari pa rin yan class that yung maximum bending moment occurs dito sa initial location kanina. No, hindi dito pa rin yung M max sa location ng roller. Okay, same pa rin siya dito. So kakat na lang natin class para mas mabilis. Hindi na tayo magdo rin shear moment diagram. So cut natin 40.72594 Okay, so ganun pa rin. Ito yung point B. So, lalabas yung positive shear. 
BB, lalabas yung positive moment, MB. Okay, so, so, solve muna ulit natin itong ano, resultant. So, paano ko yung resultant class? E di equal yung sa height times yung sa uh, width or sa length neto. This, this one is 2.4. So, 40.72594 and then times 2.4, ilan yan? 97.74 So, pwede na yan. 97.74 kilonewtons. Now, we're ready to take summation of moment at B. So, summation of moment at B is equal to 0. Considering clockwise moment is positive. So, MB clockwise eto walang moment, eto meron. So, clockwise rin yan. So, 97.74 and the moment arm is 1.2 equals 0. So, therefore, MB equals, so, pag nilipat ko sa kabila, negative ulit yan. So, negative ilan? So, negative 117.29 and then kilonewton meter. So, negative means negative bending moment lang. Pero, this one, ito na yung gagamitin natin. M max. Okay. So, which is slightly na mas malaki lang na konti dito sa kanina. No? Ito is 117.01. Kapag ang weight mo is 64. Tama? No, naging 74. Kasi pinalitan natin yung section. Naging 117.29. Then now, check natin. No? Number 4. Check natin kung papasa siya. So, FB max is equal sa M max over S. So, magiging uh, 117.29. So, gagawin ko na times 10 raised to 6 newton millimeter. And then, divided by yung S, nung material natin na ginamit. Section modulus, 10, 000, or 1060. Then, times 10 cube mm. Cube. Okay, so solve natin ilan to. FB max equals. So, ang sagot is, ayan, 110.65. 110.65 MPA. Okay, which is what? which is less than na dun sa allowable nating 120 MPA. Tama ba? Yung nakuha nating actual bending moment, our oh, bending stress is less than dun sa allowable. So, therefore, safe na tayo, no? So, dahil safe na siya, therefore, eto na yung final answer natin. So, choose do, uh, S380 by 74, and then, ang tinatanong din, what is the maximum bending stress in the se beam selected? So, eto na yun. Ito na yung actual bending stress na nade-develop. Okay. So, let's check class kung correct yung sagot natin. So, choose uh, sana. Choose 380 by 74 and then yung actual maximum bending stress is 110.65 MPA. Okay, no? so sana nag yung proseso. Four steps lang naman yan. Ulitin natin. First step, draw the shear and moment diagram. Or hindi naman draw, basta ang kailangan natin makuha yung maximum moment. Pag may maximum moment ka na, kuha ka na ng minimum required section modulus. And then after that, pili ka na dun sa mga ano, available na materials no? na magsasatisfy, mas malaki dito sa S minimum, tapos yung lightest pa, yung pinakamaga, doon ka magsisimula. Tapos, pag meron ka na nun, convert, kunin mo yung actual weight ng beam, tapos idagdag mo siya doon sa loadings mo. Tapos, kunin mo ulit yung M max, kunin mo ulit yung M max, tapos, i-check mo kung pumasa yung actual bending stress versus doon sa allowable. Pag nag-exceed siya, ibig sabihin nag-fail. So, wrong section. So, ang gagawin natin, pipili tayo ng next na mas maga na magaang. Okay? So, yung next na magaang. And then, so, syempre, next na mas, dapat considered pa rin na mas malaki pa rin yung section modulus niya compared sa minimum required. And then, same process. Until such time, no, na pag-check mo yung actual 
bending stress is masatisfy nang siya na less than siya dun sa allowable para safe na. So pag ganun na sabihin, okay na tong section mo, ito na yung pipiliin natin. Tapos ito na yung, ano uh, actual bending stress. Okay, so I think hanggang diyan na lang tayo class sa uh, uh, economic section. Okay, so sana nag-guess nyo. So, ayun. Thank you guys for watching and God bless.